Hello everyone, Erico here, and we are doing a tour of the Watcher Bridge SMP Vanilla Server. So, this is the server I like to play on, and this is the spawn building. So, you spawn in over there, and it's just some basic little signs here, and some nice rules, some banners depicting where we're at and it's just quite a lovely spawn building the only thing I don't like about it is the uh, clouds go through the building sometimes but other than that I do really like the building we have some uh, starter chests for new players and it's just I don't know I just like the colors and the feel of the spawn building but anyways it's a tour right so I better get moving along here um, we have a nice sword over here little garden some dragon faces it's tw quite a uh, tall majestic building big nice waterfalls on each side too but that's pretty much the bottom floor so why don't I meet you oh look there I am looking all all fancy why don't I meet you guys up on maybe not up but down here so I'll be back anywho so that's where we were came down these steps I'm not entirely sure what this room is for although it's kind of eerie with the little heads and blood splatters in the cages so let's just keep moving on um, so something interesting about this tour is typically people do tours when it's the first time they're on a server but I have been on here for quite a while so this isn't exactly a authentic tour but I do like the spawn building a lot except for this roof <laughs> I have problems with the clouds and this total light roof but you know everyone has different tastes and that's okay I don't have to like everything but yeah so technically this is zero episode zero zero when in reality it's probably more like episode 37 or something because I just got this bow today which was quite a dealio I'm wearing some mob drop armor but yeah I just decided one day that once I'm done with all my other obligations that I would record some videos and here we are doing just that and having a nice tour so we're quite a ways underneath the spawn building I guess the first floor and each dragon represents a different moderator or builder, I believe, who helps with the server. And I wish I knew how to build a dragon like that. I mean, yes, they are maybe not the most unique dragons since they're all the same pattern, but still, I could not build something like that. So <laughs> I'm still very impressed. But here's this room, and I guess this would be uh, subfloor 2, so now let's go up to level 2, and I'll be right back. Well, just for reference, we started right there, and we went over there, and now we came up these stairs to the second floor. And one of the things I most like about the second floor is these little side gardens. I don't know what it is. I just think they're adorable. And, I don't know, <laughs> really like them. But, yeah, this is the second floor. And up here we have little statues of different moderators and builders. Their respective heads on. And I think it's pretty cute how they have them holding the different things, different positions. Actually, this guy is like, I got the diamonds, but yeah. So 
So this is the second floor, another little garden out there. And two things to be noted about the second floor is that, one, there are villager shops up here. So these villagers, you can uh, trade different things with them. And, you know, you can get emeralds and come click on them and just maybe get necessities that you don't feel like gathering in the wild. And I think that's a nice feature to have in the spawn building. And another thing to note about the second floor, which is kind of important, is this button right here, which teleports you to the build competition plaza, which we will visit right now. So, kind of in the middle of the ocean, but lovely, absolutely lovely sort of Greek theme. I'm assuming Apollo built these. I might be wrong, but they seem like her kind of style, but just lovely. So each building, you know, says what it's doing. And I don't know, just a really lovely little build area. But now that we've seen this, we will head on up to the third floor of Spawn. Um, I don't think we need to go into these other two buildings because we haven't actually had a build competition yet that's finished. So there's nothing in there and there's nothing in the rewards because the first one hasn't finished yet. But anywho, we're going to head over to the third floor of the Spawn building and I'll see you. Oh, here we are up on the third floor looking over this little balcony. We uh, started down in there and we were just on the second floor down there. There's the little garden and we came up here and there's these two long walkways that take you out into the wilderness. And also we can go into the nether hub. So. The nether hub is quite a work in progress. I'm not sure what's in store for this place, but if we head down here, there is sort of a second version of what we saw underneath the spawn building with statues and moderators slash builders sitting here. And it's just this really lovely grand dining hall, I'd have to call it. But, as you can see, we're kind of close to the ceiling of the nether. But, it's just, I don't know. Um, the moderators, latch builders on here, just have quite a bit of skill. And, I don't think anyone's really shown off what they've done. So, that's what I'm doing, I guess. Um... But now let's head somewhere else. And in fact, I'm going to not do a jump cut, but I'm going to warp to Mistmir. Now, Mistmir, I'm not entirely sure what its purpose is, but it is this really lovely town that's right outside of Spawn. So, I don't know if you can see, but that tower right there connects to the spawn building. And then you come down these stairs and down that little hillway, and then you come into Mistmere. And Mistmere is sort of a medieval seaside town. And I don't know if it's going to continue to grow, but there's a lot of detail, a lot of time and effort spent in the construction of this town. You got the little church and different buildings. I really like how they get fatter I guess, or wider at the top. Um, there's a player's base off in the distance. There's a boat under construction. I hope that this place is going to expand because I really like it and it seems a little undone but that's just my own opinion. 
but yeah, just a really nice little town. I especially like the little bits of grass and dirt around the buildings. It really kind of anchors it into the area. But now let's go look at the other side of spawn, that way where I built my first little house. And I'll meet you guys over there in just one. So I'm on the way to my first little home here on the server, walking away from spawn. And if we go down some stairs, that is new. When did that get added? Guess I need to walk around spawn more often. There's the sword we saw earlier in the little garden. And yeah, so I came out of spawn and I just wanted to get out into the wilderness. So I headed this way. And yeah, that is definitely a new building. Let's get over there. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, something I should mention is we have a plugin which allows you to claim sections of land and protect them from other people. So a lot of servers, you get on and you can just do whatever and ruin people's stuff, but not in here. It's all protected. Oh, I messed that up. But um, this is one of my neighbor's houses. He's building this nice kind of castle place right here. This is the edge of spawn, as you all know. And we're just gonna have to do a little bit of swimming. But my first few days on the server, I told myself, you are not going to live in a dirt house. Because that's the classic starting building. Everyone digs a hole in the ground. Oh, I did it! Oh. Oh, but now I cannot get, can I? Oh. Oh. Why? Why, Latrix? Anywho, um, that was really disappointing. Um, I told myself I would not spend the night in a dirt hole or a dirt house. I just was. So, the first few days, on the server, I just wandered around the wilderness collecting different wood types. And eventually, I came back to spawn and I came out this way. And I built this little place right here on the water. And I quite, I think it's quite beautiful. So let's get over there a little closer and I'll be back with you in a second. Oh, here we are. My first little home. Got a cute little dock out here with some of the new path blocks. Little pebbles out here. Flowers, little bench. And we lead right up. Got a little sign. Before I go inside the house, I'm going to show you the other building. This is a uh, AFK fish farm that I built. Is there anything in here? Oh, there is a few things in here. I'm actually going to take those copper fish. But yeah, little AFK fish farm. Who is it? Is it Panda? Can't remember his name. It was a tutorial. But yeah, so here is the inside of the house. We have some little coat hooks, a little bench, potted plant, some bigger bushes, got some leaves in the ceiling. Tried to do hidden lighting, but you know, that didn't really work out have the little bedroom, you know, we got our little nightstand, a little desk, a little furnace for feeding, crafting table for your nightly needs, got crafting table on the floor, little furnace area, got a back door in case you need to escape for some reason. Uh, down there is a strip mine. Through here is the nether. And then if we go downstairs, we have my crafting set. Well, not crafting. Jeez. How old are we? Um, 
we have an enchanting setup, which actually was pretty easy to get set up. I found a lot of cows early on, and that went well. And then we got a brewing and some nether wart growing down there, and then sort of a basic storage area. And yeah, so then we got my uh, trip mine down there. But that's pretty much it for everything I have to show you today. Um, if you enjoyed seeing the server, you know, leave a comment down below that you did, or if you want to see uh, some more people's houses, you know, say so in the comments. And if you like the video, I don't know, leave a like. Um, this, of course, is kind of a new thing for me, making videos and whatnot. And who put signs on this island? Who put signs here? Luxus Island. Don't know how to claim, so please don't mess with it. Thanks. Or else I will find and kill you. Oh, that's nice. I'm going to change this sign. Oh. Aviator. I was going to change the sign to don't mess with it or Erico will mess with you. And I was going to put torches on it. But apparently I can't do that. But anywho, um, thanks for watching. I hope you all have a good rest of your day. And see you next time.